Hey lovelies, welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to be um, looking at doing a crystal card reading and we're going to be doing a holistic healing layout. So I'm going to talk you through um, the layout, what each card means, um, and you can apply this reading to any oracle card deck that you have. It doesn't have to be a crystal, um, a crystal card deck, but I'm going to be using crystal card deck because it's one of my favorites. So just so you know, this is the card deck that I'm using today. This is um, crystal reading cards by Rachel or Rochelle uh, Charman. Absolutely beautiful deck. Um, it serves two purposes. Um, it can give you healing card readings and also kind of like a divination um, spiritual guidance readings as well. So the cards are absolutely stunning. You may have seen them before in uh, previous card reading videos that I've done and crystal videos. So as I said, we're going to be doing what's called a holistic healing uh, work uh, layout today. Not workout, not in the mood. Um, holistic uh, healing layout. And it consists of four cards and it's going to give us an insight into um, some guidance and what we may need for um, physical healing, mental healing, emotional healing and spiritual healing. So that's that's what each of the four cards is going to represent. And as I said, you can do this with any Oracle card deck um, that you choose, asking um, a particular question and laying the cards out in this way, um, in just in a row of four from left to right. Okay, so the question that is um, kind of an all-round applicable question to this kind of layout is something like, what do I need to know to be able to heal or become aware of to move forward in my life or something something quite open like what do I need to know in order to heal to move forward anything like that that you that you want to know that something that you might be hanging on to or you might have um kind of a niggling feeling about something and you just want to know what it means and how you can heal it to move forward so it's about asking your um whoever you tune into when you do your card readings whether it be um a, a god or goddess or your spiritual guides your higher self your own intuition whatever you choose or wh whatever you normally ask or you feel comfortable asking then direct your question to them in, in quite an open form about what it is that you f you need to heal from so i generally ask um in, when I do card readings, I ask my spirit guides and I also uh, like to tune into or feel as though I'm tuning into my higher self. So it's almost like asking the higher version of myself that probably knows something that's going on, but I'm not quite aware of it yet. So that's where the um, become aware of part of the question comes into it. So I'm going to ask that question and shuffle the cards and I'm going to talk you through my reading that I'm going to get. So I'm going to do my reading with um, along with you step by step in today's video. And then you can apply this process um, to your own card deck for yourself as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask, um, as I said before, quite an open question of um, what is it that I need to be aware of or what is it that I need to heal from in order to move forward and uh, achieve what I want to achieve. So I'm going to shuffle the cards now that I've asked this question. And I'm going to keep shuffling until I feel ready to stop. Again, that's how I, I use my own intuition to know when I want to stop. Okay, so I feel like I should stop here. So I'm going to lift off the first four cards. And um, if you want to lay them out on a table in front of you, then lay them out left to right. Card number one is physical healing. Card number two represents mental healing. Card number three represents emotional healing. And card number four represents spiritual healing. So let's see what my spirit guides have in store for me to let me know. So my physical healing card is a crystal called Hiddenite. And the... A healing property of this card is gratitude so that's interesting to see what that's going to be applicable for my physical healing mental healing card number two 
is crocoite. Now, this is a very pretty stone. And this is tuned into sexuality. So that's interesting with mental healing. Um, first impressions of that sexuality, maybe it means about how I view myself um, from a mental perspective, how I look at myself from the inside. So we'll see what that's about. Third card, emotional healing, is kunzite. Love the colour of this. Self-love. Now, I have been focusing all of February on self-love. My videos, my podcasts, my blogs, my mini blogs are all been focused around self-love and self-care and appreciating yourself. So this is a very timely card and this is about my emotional healing. So again, with self-love, it tunes into, again, your relationship with yourself, how you see yourself, your self-esteem and things like that. So that's going to be a really interesting one. I think links really well to the previous card of sexuality. And then the fourth and final card of this reading is spiritual healing. So my fourth card is a Herkima diamond. Now, I'm not familiar with this stone, but it looks very pretty. And the... The link of this card is dreams. So again, dreams are what comes up in maybe in our subconscious while we're asleep. Things that that we may not be aware of when we're conscious. So that being the spiritual healing card also feels quite right as well. So this is a very, very pretty reading that I've got here. Um, you can see very varied readings. So we've got gratitude, sexuality, self-love and dreams so it's very nice when cards appear to flow together and oftentimes you'll find that the cards that you pull out and you read overlap because they're all joining together because you are a whole you have all of these elements but they come together to make a whole so it makes sense that they're going to overlap and they're going to link with each other and relate to each other so we're going to just very uh we're going to look into each card now and see what each one means. And this will hopefully give you an insight of how to interpret cards. So the fact that my physical healing um, card has come up with um, a crystal that means gratitude may not make sense on the face of it. Like gratitude, physical healing, that's more of an emotional, uh, more of a feeling state. So, but let's see what it says in the, it's a very lovely detailed book that comes with this crystal deck. So we're going to look up Hiddenite and see how we can apply, or see how the gratitude diamond applies to physical healing. So it says that Hiddenite holds a powerful medicine to, to assist with unlocking your heart's gratitude. So by connecting um, with that stone and connecting with your heart's gratitude, um, you'll be blessed with feeling grateful and being able to hold this kind of grateful space in your life. Um, and when you master, it says when you master the essence of gratitude, then it makes you, as, a, as an effect of that, it makes you more open to receiving things into your life. Kind of like a law of, attra law of attraction. If you focus on what you lack, you're going to, you're going to experience lack. But if you focus on what you're grateful for, then you're opening yourself up to receive. So it says here that it opens the heart and assists in dissolving any judgments in your life and allows you to create a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. So again, this could be, I'm thinking from this from my perspective now about how this links in with my physical healing. I've had issues recently with I'm getting heavier and I know exactly why, I have no excuses, I've been lazy, that's why I've been getting heavier and it's having a knock-on effect about how I feel about myself from the inside. It has a knock-on effect about how my body operates physically. So instead of kind of burying my head in the sand, I need to be grateful that at the moment I've realized this before it's had any real serious health implications for me. And, it, and therefore I can be grateful that I am at the moment healthy, but could be a lot healthier. So that's what I'm seeing from this card for me. So it's important when you're doing a card reading and you read the um, interpretation in the book, you can't necessarily take it as is because these books are being read, read 
by thousands of different people in completely different situations and they've asked completely different questions and they may have pulled the same card. So it's about taking the message that the card represents and you place it and you kind of interpret it with how you feel about you and it helps it to make sense. I'm not talking about making the cards fit. Sometimes you just have an off day and you don't get a great reading, that's fine. Put them away, try a different deck, put them away, try a different day. But it's about tuning into how these apply to you, not necessarily just taking them at face value. So I'm thinking that if I can be, if I can feel grateful that at the moment I'm all good and therefore I need to embrace that and use that and make myself and feel grateful for that and make it better. I want to hold on to it. So I need, I know I need to exercise. I know I need to eat better if I want to stay healthy. If I carry on down the road that I'm going, at some point it's going to tip over and I'm going to become ill. So I'm, I'm, I like that card. I think that's great. So the next one was mental healing, which was the crystal crocoit, which meant sexuality. So that was interesting because I think that's going to have a lot to do with how um, a relationship that you have with yourself, not necessarily directly related to anything um, to do with sex. So it says here that it's um, the crystal itself and it's healing medicine, if you like, deeply resonates with the vibrations of your life force energy. So that is something that say that our life force energy is um, can be a lot to do with sexuality, it can be a lot to do with virility and sensuality because it's what, it kind of is what makes us human, it's what makes us kind of like that underlying instinct that we have. So it says here that it works closely with the fire element, which makes sense when you look at the color of the crystal. And it can help with burning away any blockages that are stopping you from truly living in the creative flow of your energy. And it deeply assists the transformation of any issue to do with sexuality. So um, it it's a way of basically it's saying that by using this energy it will wake up something within me that brings on my kind of passion for life my life force energy connections to myself expressing myself creatively which is something that's very in the work that i do is very important for me to be able to express myself communicate with you communicate with um clients, people I work with, and a much wider audience as well, with communicating, healing, and being able to do that in a number of ways to be able to resonate and connect with people. So this this is um, definitely a card that helps with unblocking negative beliefs about yourself. Um, maybe in a, if you've started, if you've started to feel maybe um, not great about myself which again links in with the physical card as well and about kind of reconnecting with who I am and the redness of it also makes me think of the root chakra as well the root chakra energy center is red and in that chakra is what makes you you it is the underlying you-ness is in your root chakra it's what you are, who you are. So this ticks all of those boxes and makes a lot of sense with um, kind of a, an inner mental perception and about clearing those negative beliefs, clearing those blockages and embracing who I am, which again links, I think, links very well with that um, gratitude card because it's being grateful for who I am and embracing who I am. So these two cards are already really great. The next one was emotional healing, which we had the self-love card, Kunzite. So let's see um, what it's got about here. So this crystal offers a blessing of unconditional love for yourself. No excuses, no if I was this, but if I did that, then maybe I would feel better about myself. No, this is unconditional. This is loving yourself 
no matter what. So this this crystal invites you to open your heart fully and allow love to enter your heart for yourself. And if you can love yourself, then you'll radiate that love and you'll be loving to others. It has, it's, it's a massive thing to um, be able to really love yourself. And it, people, again, on a, on a unconscious level connect with that and they can recognize that and it helps to bring out the best in them too. So a great way to use this crystal or to tune in with this crystal energy is again, it's connecting it with the heart chakra because it is, oh, sorry, because it is very much to do with that kind of love and let self-love overflow mind, body and spirit. It's about accepting yourself and loving yourself and embracing it. So it promotes healing in that sense. It opens and aligns your heart chakra and it helps with dissolving past pain and resentment that you may be hanging on to, um, which again puts up these blocks and affects the way that you're able to feel about yourself which is those negative feelings um which is that not appreciating who you are so all three of these link in really really well with uh from that perspective so that was emotional healing and then the spiritual healing card which is like your higher self the kind of unconscious you that you're trying that you're tuning into those senses of people's energy that you have um is your spiritual side um and i drew the uh herkimer diamond which is dreams card so let's see what that has to say to do with um spiritual healing so this is linked to the heart and crown chakra very much a a heart chakra kind of vibe going on with this reading um so this is this card represents um an energy that helps to um access your dream state so if you were to have this crystal under your pillow for example um it would allow you to remember your dreams and have a bit more of a conscious access to your dreams once you've woken up um and it helps to by being able to do this you're able to unlock um a bit more of an interpretation of what's going on with your spiritual side and it helps to unlock that creativity and let that kind of real you unconscious you shine through um which again is part of your whole it's part of you so it and it helps to sweep away all that kind of mind clutter that gets in the way of you you kind of is those excuses and those things that you tell yourself to talk yourself down um because that's where you're feeling comfortable or where you are at the moment. So that again, it's um, my entire reading that I've uh, that I have had today about my physical, mental, emotional and spiritual healing. What do I need to know to heal from? And it seems as though this reading is telling me that to be able to heal and become aware and uh, become aware and move forward is I need to I need to work on a relationship with myself, appreciate myself for who I am, look after myself, feel grateful for the body I have, not be afraid to express myself, have unconditional love for myself, and to tune in with my higher self. So this is, this, I'm, I'm very happy with this reading. This is how I've interpreted this reading. And I hope that from watching this video, and you've seen the process I've gone through doing this reading for myself, so you're able to apply it to a reading for yourself too. Um, regardless of what card deck you use, um, asking that kind of he open healing question, what do I need to know to heal, um, to move forward? Or what do I need to be aware of to heal and move forward? Then ask that of your card deck and then pull four cards, one, um, physical healing, two, mental healing, three, emotional healing, and four, spiritual healing. And then look up the interpretations for each card, see how that fits with you, write notes if you need to, and then take a step back and look at the reading as a whole. So it's always important to see your card readings, regardless of the questions or layouts that you're doing. It's important to um, 
see the reading as a whole piece, see the journey that the reading, the whole picture that the reading is telling you, it's important to make that connection at the end because that's what it is. It isn't about each single card on its own. They all come together to tell you a one bigger picture. And my bigger picture is to start appreciating myself and express myself and be happy with that and let myself shine basically it's basically what I keep telling all of you guys to do all the time it's basically telling me Katie listen to your own advice do you take your own medicine so that's what I'm going to intend to do um from now on so um I'm going to spend some time reflecting on that and thinking about how I'm going to do that for myself now that I've pulled these cards and I hope that you um, are able to do the same the card reading that you do um if you have any questions or you want to tell me um, what your favourite card deck is or your favourite layout that you like to do, then drop that down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I try my best to uh, reply to everyone um, as soon as possible as well because um, I love chatting to you and I love to hear about um, how you use your crystals and how you use your cards as well. And um, take a look at the links in the description as well for um, my Crystal Academy. In my online crystal school which is full of courses for you to be able to take online at your own pace um it's lifetime access so go back it dip in and out as much as you like but it's how you can learn about um using crystals for different reasons and learning much more about them and how to bring them into your life so take a look at the crystal academy at the courses there and if you're looking to build up your crystal collection um take a look at my online crystal store as well link in the description um, i'll be back again next week with another video um, in the meantime um if you want to have a look at other crystal videos that i've done or other card reading videos click the um, playlist up in the corner. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm posting, then click on the icon here and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next week. Take care, bye bye.